Hey guys, it's Anthony here, Super Duty Service. We got Dennis's truck here, the hay bale truck. I got, let me go ahead and go back here. We'll check, just checking some numbers here. Fickham looks good. Of course, it needs ICP sensor, 0 0.3, 0 0.03. ICP sensor's leaking, possibly uh, uh, pigtail as well. But I wanted to check and see what injectors we need, if we need any. Uh, I think the beeping noise, uh, if you notice, I can kick it off and then back on. And there's no airbag light. So it's a possibly a little fail safe. Uh, that if the, there is a problem with the airbag system, uh, could just be th that that bulb physically needs to be changed because that's what that beeping noise is. It's saying that the airbag light bulb is, is out. We'll fix the bulb, that beeping right there, and then it'll probably be, a, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what it is. But Battery volts are good, Fickham's good, everything's good so far, except ICP, we'll put a new sensor in it, but uh, I gotta go get it cleaned up and get it in the bay. Might be delaminated tanks. Here we go, I'm gonna fire it up. Son of a gun. Six, you tell me. Wow. Let it run for a minute. Definitely number six. Number one. Keep watching it. Number six. Number four so far. Number three. Number seven dropping off. I'm gonna do a fuel pressure test. Gotta see what kind of pressure we're getting. Number six, definitely bad. Number three, number six and number three. What a drag, they're on opposite sides. Uh, just kind of letting it walk. All right, I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit. Then uh, we'll get another video. There you go, under throttle. A little bit of throttle. Number seven and number three really dropping out. All right. Actually, I think I said number three. Seven and six. I normally do a lot of printouts, but I'm going to go ahead and video some of these. That way we can watch it watch it in real time seven and six and it looks like it's beating up on number three and number eight looks like they're kind of getting getting worked a little hard check fuel pressure uh, we might have uh, this is aft axle tank so might have a delaminated tank okay we got a little bit of temperature here still showing number four number six Five, two, 116, 105. Now, just in in history, uh, if the oil cooler is not shot, the coolant will heat up drastically faster than oil. And then once it gets up to temperature, then the oil will pass it. That is by no means is that the recommended test for it. But just in history, if we've got a clogged oil cooler the um, oil will heat up really, really close to where the uh, cooling is. But so far initially, you know, battery's good, voltage good, pickem's good, ICP picked up, at least, at least it's reading, it's not defaulting. But we still got, still got injector issues. Let's let it load. We still got injector issues here. Look at four dropping now. Four, five, six. Uh, we do have the four-wheel drive light stuck on. I have to see if that's a transfer case issue. Uh, other than that, I'm about to go ahead and get in here and get it clean. Okay, we got this in the shop here. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I don't know, get the, uh, figure out the four-wheel drive. 
um, transfer case. We got a fuel tank issue on the back. Right now, what we're gonna do is drop the fuel filters first thing and make sure that they're not delaminated before I go do any more diag. Had to clean it up a little bit. It's it's pretty dirty. I need, I'll have to take it back in the daylight and wash it a little better. But I wanna check, check the delaminated tank first and then uh, then we'll go from there. I'll replace the airbag light, uh, figure out the four wheel drive situation, and then the injectors. And this one will be, should be a pretty quick job. All right, yep, have a good day, guys.